Given these missed opportunities in the first and second games, the world champion went into the Blitz playoff with some doubts. So much so that when he won the toss before the Blitz, he was unsure whether to plump for black or white. After some deliberation, Kasparov opted for black, meaning he would get just four minutes to Karamnik's five. But if the game were drawn, then Gaza would go through. I find this a remarkable decision. Kasparov was obviously unsure that he could beat Kramnik, even with the white pieces and an extra minute. OK, he's played a, a so-called Russian defence, or Petrov defence. They're moving very quickly, just looking to bring in the pieces out. And Kasparov just looking for equality. All he needs is a draw, but he can't stop and think for too long. Kramnik is a speed specialist. He's going to need to beat Kasparov, and he's castled on the left-hand side of the board, signaling his aggressive intentions of attacking Kasparov, Kasparov putting a knight in the middle of the board. So, when King's castle on opposite sides, it lends great dynamism to the position. You only need to open a file in front of the opposition king, and that can be fatal. Now, Kasparov lashing out with his pawn, attacking the knight. What a, knight, what a strange knight, move. A very strange. The knight moving out. Well, Kasparov taking great risks here. He's compromised his pawn structure. And all he needs going is a draw. The, yeah, and he's going for the attack. I'm amazed he's playing like this. So, queen coming out to a5, attacking white pawn on a2. Now, Kramnik freezing for a moment. So, the attack on the... We've got the Telestrator back. Attack on pawn on a2. Kramnik has played the pawn up to defending this pawn. But look at this structure. Black's pawn here, very weak indeed. Kasparov's idea, moving the pawn up to, to the c5 square, very risky indeed. Very risky, and now he has to deal with, with the fact that this pawn will be threatened, and maybe this pawn will go, and Kramnik doesn't have to take this immediately, but look at this, Kasparov already starting with a one-minute deficit, and now it has stretched to a, a minute and 20 seconds, and he's shaking his head already. He's only moved 12. He can't be happy with this situation. He's down to 252. It's as if he's on brain freeze right now. He's looking, he's trying to find a move, and he doesn't know what to do. He's just frozen. He's just frozen in his spot, and Kramnik very calm. Now the time getting even worse, and Kramnik has decided to ditch the deep one. He played the move bishop to e6. Now, if knight takes pawn, the question is, will Kasparov be able to play to pin the pin the knight to the queen. It doesn't look possible. There's, there's knight to knight B7, knight B7 attacking the queen and attacking the rook. Seems that looks okay. Nasty. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Kramnik just double checking and he's, he's taken it. He's ripped that pawn off the board. Now he's up a pawn. Kasparov retreating his queen to the B6 square and getting ready to line up a rook on the D8 square, looking to win that knight. And, and Kramnik needs a move and he's changed. Oh, that's very powerful. Kasparov knight away and Kasparov playing knight to G4. Now threatening knight takes on E3 and then winning a knight. So, what's going to happen here? He can play the knight. He can play the knight back perhaps to the c4 square. That doesn't look too bad. That'll be attacking the queen at least. The problem is that it pieces with the exchange. He's played, played f5. f5. Matching played blow for blow. Wow, these guys, they just won't back down. And now if knight takes, queen takes, and bishop takes, he can take this bishop, and then his queen can crash in on e6 to check. Because Barov needs a big time move right now. And he's played queen, queen takes. takes knight. Queen captures the knight on d6, and it looks as if Kasparov has won his pawn back. Oh, it's a great move. Queen takes, and he's won. He's going to win his pawn back. Okay, what? so now, pawn takes bishop, at least, now, well, maybe it's more than a pawn. Wait a second. Queen takes he's bishop. Exchanged. He's exchanged off first. Now, what happens? Pawn takes bishop, knight takes, Rook he's takes, played, played. and knight takes e3, pawn takes, pawn takes, and now, it is Kramnik's move, and his bishop is under attack. Bishop comes out to d3. It's a good safe square, but Kasparov, he can, he can snap another pawn off. He can snap the pawn off here. There's nothing to stop it. Trying to decide on which one is Kasparov with only two No, he's, the he's defended the pawn. That's a very unusual decision. And the bishop coming to a superb square. He should have taken the pawn off. Very strange decision. Now the bishop up to the e4 square. And Kasparov, Kasparov hesitated. And oh my goodness, now bringing his rook over is Kramnik. I think Kasparov overlooked this. Now Kramnik bring and the knight is swinging back, attacking the h-pawn, but now Kramnik has played a move like bishop to d5, for example, 
Bishop here attacking this pawn three times. He would win it for sure. They played h3 first. The knight is going back to f6. The bishop back to f3. He's played very safely. Bishop d5 looked like a great move. Sure did. And now but rook to e5 threatening this pawn. Looks like b6 will be played automatically. And now bishop to c6 he's, and Kasparov he's, moving. It looks like as if Stranding could win a pawn. No, he can't, I don't think he can take it because he'll lose the bishop. After rook takes, after the exchange, the king will come out. The rook comes across. The king comes across. I think he would lose the bishop. Kasparov calculating. Stranding has decided to ditch the d4 and he played the move bishop to e6. Now, if knight takes pawn, the question is, will... Kasparov be able to play to pin the pin the knight to the queen. It doesn't look possible. There's, there's knight to knight, b7, knight b7 attacking the queen and attacking the rook. See, that looks okay. nasty. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Kramnik just double checking and he's, he's taken it. He's ripped that pawn off the board. Now he's up a pawn. Kasparov retreating his queen to the b6 square and getting ready to line up a rook on the d8 square looking to win that knight. And and Kramnik needs a move, and he's chained. Oh, that's very powerful. Kasparov, knight away. And Kasparov playing knight to g4, now threatening knight takes on e3, and then winning a knight. So, what's going to happen here? He can play the knight. He can play the knight back, perhaps, to the c4 square. That doesn't look too bad. That'll be attacking the queen, at least. The problem is that it pieces with the exchange. He's played, played f5. f5. Matching played blow for blow. Wow, these guys, they just won't back down. And now if knight takes... Queen takes and Bishop takes, he can take this Bishop and then his Queen can crash in on E6 to check. Kasparov needs a big time move right now. And he's played Queen, queen takes. takes Knight. Queen captures Knight on D6 and it looks as if Kasparov has won his pawn back. Oh, it's a great move. Queen takes and he's won. He's going to win his pawn back. Okay, what? so now Pawn takes Bishop at least, now, well, maybe it's more than a Pawn. Wait a second. Queen takes he's Bishop. Exchanged. Takes. He's exchanged off first. Now what happens? Pawn takes bishop, knight takes, rook He's takes, played, played. and knight takes e3, pawn takes, pawn takes, and now it is Kramnik's move, and his bishop is under attack. Bishop comes out to d3, it's a good safe square, but Kasparov, he can, he can snap another pawn off. He can snap the pawn off here, there's nothing to stop it. Trying to decide on which one is Kasparov with only... No, he's, he's defended the pawn, that's a very unusual decision. And the bishop coming to a superb square, he should have taken the pawn off. Very strange decision, now the bishop up to the... And Kasparov hesitated. And oh my goodness, now bringing his rook over is Kramnik. I think Kasparov overlooked this. Now Kramnik bringing, and the knight is swinging back, attacking the h-pawn. But now Kramnik has played a move like Bishop to d5, for example. Bishop here attacking this pawn three times. He would win it for sure. He played h3 first. The knight is going back to f6. The bishop back to f3. He's played very safely. Bishop d5 looked like a great move. Sure it did, and now but, rook to e5 threatening this pawn. Looks like b6 will be played automatically, and now bishop to c6 he's, and Kasparov moving. It looks like as if Kramnik could win a pawn. No, he can't, I don't think he can take it because he'll lose the bishop. After rook takes, after the exchange, the king will come out. The rook comes across, the king comes across. I think he would lose the bishop. Kasparov calculating but, finally, and the bishop has retreated to king still, of seven. And Kramnik, that pawn, oh, he's played the bishop to c4. Excellent. Kramnik still with the advantage here. That bishop stronger than knight. b4, excellent move. Now try Trying to open up the game on the right side. He's got all of his far pieces tied down, but what kind of move is this? This looks this looks impossible. Why can't he sack on e6? Yeah, and then take. And it's, then the move. It's a winning, it's a winning position. Is it? Oh no, no wait a second. Not. Maybe not. Kasparov has a very active king, and that might be the thing here. Kasparov is counted on his active king might but be enough. Surely this is a winning position for White. It must be winning. Well, why should it be winning? Oh, no, Double C4. pawns are not necessarily oh, going that's anywhere. A, that's a strong so move. Kasparov may be holding the balance. All he needs is a draw. And Kronik now looking for a way to get in. But Kasparov with a delicate balance, three against four, but these pawns are doubled. Oh, B5, that's B5 a good move. B5 has been played, and now Kasparov going to the right. And now holding Kronik's king in is Kasparov, but and now it's a, a balance. This, this, H4 has this been might played. be winning. If Kasparov's king backs down, the white's king comes over and takes the pawn. It's up to Kasparov. H I don't think that, I'm not sure that was right, but but it seems as if he's held the balance. And now A4 pawn, might put pawn to A4. In this might make oh, but wait a king second. Have to move. Pawn comes to A4, the king goes across. And look at this, and now G4, Kramnik, excellent move. Ooh, Kramnik playing this ending like a genius. Now G4 and Kasparov's king is going to have to move out the way. It's unbelievable. Kasparov's king is going to have to move the way. He's going to have to give up ground. But maybe he can just back his king up and wait one second. That's and dangerous. It's king, now King E4 could be deadly after an exchange. He could capture and then play King to E4. He played King F4. Now he's brought his king across. And now Kramnik can go this way and go after this pawn. But Kramnik, 
You can probably go in here and go after that one. So is the balance been maintained? It seems okay for Kasparov. Kasparov might be okay. The king looking to go this way, but this king going that way. And now he's advanced and he's going in that direction. He's captured. He's and Kasparov, look at this. Kramnik has found a way to get a pass point. And Kasparov bringing his king back. And now both ones are going to queen. Look at this. It's a race. And both ones are going to queen. And, and Kramnik, Kramnik still with the advantage. Queen. Both of them trying to get their queens. And now a check. And Kramnik is about to win a pawn. King up. He's going to take the pawn over. And he's going to take be... it. But instead he's played check. He's played a check. And the king moving over another check. And Kasparov not sure with a minute and Now he, the he can take the pawn. He can take the pawn on A7. Continuing to check. He could rip that pawn up and get a pass pawn. But he, he would be, there will be perpetual check on the back rank. So he's just checking. He's not sure which one he wants to do. And, and Kromnik Total still confusion. checking. So it's, it's madness on the board. And Kromnik, he needs to take a pawn. But if he does, then Kasparov can start checking him for all this worse. Kromnik freezing. Now he's played C4. And now the checks begin. Kasparov checking. And another check. And he's checked him again. This must be a draw. This is a, this is Kasparov a dead checking draw. And now he's about to win a pawn. Is Kasparov. Kasparov can just rip off the C4. And he's done it. And now a check. A feeble one by Kromnik. Kromnik looking for But Kasparov has taken another pawn. Now Kasparov is up two pawns. Kasparov. Amazing. So Kasparov will play the money.